Tesla recently just sent out version 10, a software update that applies to all of their vehicles. Most of these features will be available on any Model 3 you have, whether it's standard range, standard range plus, long range or performance, plus the Model S and X vehicles. And in my opinion, this is like the iOS 7 of car updates because for one, there's very few cars out there that actually get software updates. And on top of that, this is one of the most substantial and one of the most feature packed software updates Teslas have ever had. So I'll be going over all of the changes changes now. Let's begin. The first one that I'm genuinely excited about is Tesla Theater. Ever since I got inside of a Model 3, I've always looked at that center media display and thought this would be a great way to watch content on the go. There's never been such a large, detailed, and very immersive display inside of a car before, especially available for the driver and passenger, not just, you know, screens that are for the kids in the back, but for people who can actually sit in the front of the car and watch content. Tesla Theater is bringing Netflix, YouTube, and Hulu, and even and Hulu Plus Live TV to the Tesla screen. So now, when you're parked, of course, this isn't gonna work when you're on the road, that would be dangerous, you'll be able to stream content to the Tesla when you're connected to Wi-Fi. Now, there's still a little bit of stuff we don't know for sure about it, like whether or not in the future you'll be able to stream that content via cellular. However, there has been a data cap that's popped up in some Teslas showing like a zero out of 50 gigabyte limit, which is pretty good for a car. And it's rumored that the premium connectivity package for Model 3s is going to cost around $100 a year, which equates to a little bit under 10 bucks a month. And the rumor right now, I could end up being wrong about this, but the rumor right now is that for those who pay for premium connectivity, you could potentially be able to stream your Netflix, YouTube, and Hulu from the car LTE itself, as long as you stay under that 50 gigs, which most of the time I think you're going to be because it's a car, it's not a phone, you're not going to be using its data as much. And I think this makes perfect sense for Tesla, given they let everyone who has their cars use the LTE service, although Tesla has to pay money monthly regularly for all of their cars to have that data access. They just, for the most part, don't push it onto the consumer unless you do that premium connectivity feature. But anyway, being able to watch content from the car itself is amazing. And some people probably won't even have to worry about that premium connectivity if they have an unlimited data plan on their phone. They can just hotspot their car from their smartphone, which if you're worried about battery life and that kind of thing, the Tesla charges your phone. So perfect. The other big feature is Smart Summon, which is still technically in beta and definitely not available for all the Teslas, but I have seen some tests of it in the real world. And while it definitely had a rough start, it is noticeably improving since the first time they rolled out Smart Summon. The car used to move much, much slower and have a harder time finding you. But for those who don't know what Smart Summon is, it's an incredible feature that Teslas are capable of doing, which should allow you to exit the restaurant, exit the building or your business of wherever you're leaving from. And from the Tesla app, just hit Summon and the car without anybody in it will leave its parking space, navigate through the parking lot and come and find you and I encourage all of you to go look up recent demos of the smart summon feature because you can see in the real world how well it's actually working obviously it's not perfect definitely needs some work and it's gonna get better over time with more software updates but the fact that they're now rolling smart summon out to everyone who has paid for full self-driving is really really cool the car moves a little bit faster than it did before and of course it has object awareness it's not going to run into other cars or people that may come in front of it it's got cameras all around it it can see if if there's obstacles and it will stop if need be. But right now, Tesla definitely recommends that you don't activate Smart Summon. If you cannot see the vehicle, they want you to keep your eye on it for now. And as it gets better with time, eventually we'll be able to get to that point where you don't even have to look at the car. You can be leaving the mall with all your bags, your hands are full. So it's gonna be so much more convenient to just ask the car to drive itself up. And my goodness, it's trippy to see all these videos of a car navigating through a parking lot and like finding empty spaces it can go through without any anybody in the vehicle. It's completely driving itself, which is dope. So after Smart Summon, we get a bit more into the fun side of the features, which are karaoke, because carpool karaoke must have been taken by Apple. But karaoke basically means you get to listen to music while you're in the car, and the lyrics will appear on the screen, and you can sing along with it. If you enjoy karaoke, now that's built into the car. Some people do that. I am not one of those people, but now you can do that. They also added a new restaurants and destination feature, which allows you to basically, when you're looking for direction, some 
place hit I'm feeling lucky and it will take you to a random location based on reviews and where a lot of people enjoy eating or hanging out so if you want to get in the car but you don't really know where you want to go you can just say car you decide where I go they're also expanding the music and audio performance of the Teslas which has been a heavily request for a long time which means people will now be able to access Spotify on their Teslas now I'm not a Spotify premium user or anything but there's definitely a lot of Tesla owners out there that own Spotify and now that they get to stream it directly to their car and they don't have to use Bluetooth from their phone anymore is really really cool and I can't wait for them to add even more streaming services in the future and they're also adding along with Spotify slacker radio and tune in as well Tesla arcade also got an update with the biggest title that's ever been added to a car of all time that's right Tesla's get video games and of course at no extra cost so before like the biggest game on the Tesla was dune buggy racing which you got to play with the steering wheel and stuff which was really cool I admit and before that there's pretty simple games like chess and old 80s games and old classics that are not overly complicated but just kind of cool and nifty things to show off when you're in your Tesla but now they're starting to get some actual significant well-known titles in version 10 they get Cuphead which is not quite like a triple-a game but I think you could say it's a double-a title it's fairly well known it has a very very unique design style and very classy unique approach to gameplay it's very frustrating so I imagine a lot of people who play Cuphead on the Tesla are gonna get annoyed but still the fact that a fairly higher-end game is now capable of running on your car that you can play whenever you're supercharging just makes this media center inside the Model 3 even more enjoyable for people who are in the car and waiting to charge or maybe just want to get in and hang out because these cars are insanely cool and they're getting more and more things so I can't imagine what other games are gonna be added in the future but it's really cool to see a game as well known and as large as Cuphead no longer what it was before which was basically like simple mobile or browser games that they ported to the Tesla now they're getting more major titles like Cuphead which is dope although I guess it is mobile because it's in a car so Minecraft when Microsoft can we get Minecraft on the Tesla please they also made some updates to Tesla sentry mode so that people using a USB drive with their Tesla that records things going around the car will also erase older footage instead of just filling up the entire hard drive and relying on the end user to clear out the hard drive and start over now it will clear off old footage making that more easy and convenient for people who like using sentry mode and they're also adding advancements to the standard range and standard Standard range plus models of the Model 3 which is dope because people who had the standard range model before didn't get browser access because they didn't have premium connectivity but with version 10 they're announcing that they're enabling browser access on all the Model 3s including those ones that didn't get it before which is amazing and that update will also enable streaming media access to Spotify TuneIn and Slacker while of course connected to Wi-Fi for now down the road maybe when we have that premium connectivity subscription they might be able to stream from LTE built into the car but I highly recommend if you do have a Tesla just making sure you have an unlimited data plan just personal hotspot off your phone to the car and boom you can have browser access everywhere you have internet access which is dope and my goodness that sums up all the changes coming to the Teslas with version 10 if you haven't updated yet I'd highly recommend it and this is one of my favorite things about Teslas is the fact that they can improve so much over time and gain so many features like imagine how much more stuff the Teslas are gonna be capable of in another five to ten years potentially driving themselves Smart Summon I'm sure is gonna get way way better way bigger games AAA titles will probably start coming to the Tesla's it's incredible to see these types of just over-the-air updates at no additional cost at all these functional and useful features to the car so just another reason I love Tesla's and I think they're amazing and hats off to Tesla for making an incredible software update other car companies you should be scared okay you better start working on your user interfaces and how to make your operating system significantly upgrade and get better over time because Tesla's got you beat in that department. I know Tesla's not perfect, but in the fields they get right. Boy, do they get it right. Anywho, let me know what your new favorite feature is with Tesla version 10 by hitting me up over on Twitter or joining our Discord. This is your Tesla sheep here, and I will see you guys in the next one.